Yo, what's up guys? It's your favorite Krunker politician, Silya here, with another banger commentary and banger political opinion. Now you guys know I like to joke around with Krunker politics, especially when it came with the circle arm and the or the, sorry, the round arm. So I, I it's just hard to distinguish like the less superior group. Anyways, the uh, they're called the rounded arm gang. I know they're kind of gross between the uh, the square arm gang. And I said, you know, we might need some Krunker politicians um, to get this issue sorted out. But, you know, obviously I'm joking here. There there doesn't need to be Krunker politics, guys. Like, that's just, that's just silly. But recently I decided to make a Reddit account. So I am equivalent to living in my mother's basement and eating pizza all day. And yes, I actually am enjoying it. But I decided, hey, let's check out a Krunker Reddit. This place is a gold mine for content. An absolute gold mine, and within like five minutes of me just scrolling through this, I found probably the most beautiful post ever, and it ties into Krunker politics. Well, not really, but I mean, like it actually brings up real politics, uh, like election type shit. So in this post, fuck getting an extra vote, period. This this post is just absolutely beautiful, and you know I'm just gonna go around and and I'm gonna read a little bit bit by bit. And uh, just give you my little commentary on this because, well, it's just, it's funny. And it's just goofy how how serious this post is being taken. And I get that they're trying to change something. I get that they don't like what they, uh, you know, and they can express their opinion on this website. I, I don't care about that. But, you know, if you're going to post something like this, like, you're going to expect criticism and uh, some, like, commentary from other people, whether that's in the, the comments of the Reddit post or uh, in a YouTube video like this. But just know that this is, this is overall good fun. I don't even, I don't have an opinion on this subject matter, this extremely political subject matter. But yeah, let's just get into this. Fuck getting an extra vote. Who at the dev team thought this was a good idea? It is literally like giving someone an extra ballot in an election. So I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently, um, this will get explained a little bit later better, but what I'm picking up is that if you stay in a lobby longer, uh, like in a crunker lobby, and you stay in the same lobby, you can get an extra vote at, at some point. I'm not sure at what point you get that at. I think if you stay in the lobby for more than a couple of games, you'll get an extra vote, which means you can vote twice on a map or a game mode. So basically, it's giving superiority to someone that has been staying in the lobby and not lobby hopping. So it's almost, it's a reward for staying in the same lobby. And that can go a long way because a lot of people do lobby hop in this game. And especially before this system, I'm not sure how big of a difference it's made, but I'm sure it's made a little bit of a difference. You get an extra set of KR and now you get this extra vote. It's unfair to people who've just entered the lobby and want to say, I guess he wanted to say stay. He want they want to stay in the map slash mode that they want to play. Damn, that sounded like an Eminem rap. What the fuck? Everyone should be equal in their choice, no matter how long they play, because we are all players regardless, and no one's opinion should objectively hold more weight than another. This man is actually getting political, and to be fair, like, if this was an actual real, sin like, situation, or something that was actually needed to be changed, like, an actual election, as he points out at the top, it's, like, literally giving someone an extra ballot in an election, that makes complete sense, because, while well, that's actually real-life issues. This is Crunker.io, a IO game made for kids in math class that don't want to pay attention. And yes, I did just say that little Johnny sitting at the back of your class picking his boogers and eating them is probably playing this game in your classroom. So yeah, that just paragraph right there was the original post. And well, he decided to, or, or so, whoever posted this, uh, made an update. Um, and it's a bit, a little bit longer than uh, what they had originally said. And I, I feel like it definitely needed some clarification because this post uh, got some comments. Um, one from High Noon, I think one of the uh, the staff members. I don't know what he does. I think he deals with people that hack or ban. He's the he's a big boy. But his comment is obviously going to be the the one at the top. He just pretty much says unfair playing in the same lobby longer than others should give you superiority in map vote. If you don't like this, then you can play in the same lobby five times and get an extra vote, or you can just open up the server browser and join the map and game mode you want, which does make sense. Noon tries to defuse the situation and gives him really another option, like, yeah, you can still lobby hop, like, it's not against the rules to leave a lobby. You just won't get rewarded in the same way. Okay, so I'll just quickly read most of the update. To those who are saying otherwise, let's make a point about the entire point of voting and democracy. When a group of people are divided on a choice, which only one can be selected, the natural approach is to determine which choice is the most appealing to the group so that most people can be satisfied, which is the best outcome. 
keyword most as in majority this is the system that we have learned to cultivate over years however that process is subverted when the select number of people can all right you know i'm not even gonna fucking read this if you want to go and read this whole thing you can but this guy is straight up just doubling down and relating this to real life my guy this is crunker.io you'll be fine i'll just read this last part i know this is only one circumstance but it shows that redistributing the weight of people's votes can have a detrimental effect on the majority now i know i've been hitting this guy whoever made this post with the it's just a game man why you have to be mad but he is kind of making a point like yeah it should be fair but it's not since people can stay in but but it really isn't that big of a deal i don't even vote for what map gets played next i personally don't care now would i prefer to play free for all um yeah most people do and most people do pick that which is fine by me but Mr. Amir is trying to say that those that do vote, or usually do vote, care about what they play, and if they have two votes, that usually dictates what the next game mode is going to be. But at the same time, you can just leave the lobby, and, you know, it, it, it's not that hard. It, it really is not that hard. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna be fine. Let's just calm down. Let's not have another war going on in the, in the, in the Krunker universe. Please, no war. This is by far probably one of the dumbest Krunker videos I've ever made. Uh, not only because I don't really know what to say now, because there's really no point to argue about this. It's literally talking about the voting system in Krunker. How much more do I have to milk out of Krunker.io until the subjects become so minute and small that I start talking about each pixel around the map? Like, I'll just go around the map and start critiquing, like, a misplace object and that'll be a video this video straight up screams i am running out of ideas but non nonetheless this is pretty good entertainment um you know what? i'm gonna give this uh this oh i have to sign in okay i would have given it an upvote just for the funny but it's it's too late now I think the overall issue with this, and especially with the comments down here, if you want to read them, is everyone's trying to argue something different. People are bringing in real life politics into this, especially for like one situation, uh, like this big update. Like this is just this is just one scenario, and it doesn't really mention at Crunker at it at, at all. Like this guy brings up fucking fucking apples and oranges. Like what the hell? I could have read this, but I'm too I'm too damn lazy to. He even says, I know this is only one circumstance. Let the people that make the game decide how they want the game to be played. It's not like this is something that people are running at, at uh, fucking Sydney and Vince with pitchforks or anything. I think this is the first time I've ever heard about this extra vote thing, which is why I wanted to make a video on this, because it's just so... It's like, well, people are going to talk about anything in this game, including myself. So, might as well start with uh, making a YouTube video. Yeah, that's pretty much it today. Um, you guys have a good day. I I'm just going to end the video. See you guys. Oh, wait, why are you still here? What? <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? No, I'm just, you know, scumbag YouTuber type shit trying to make it past the eight minute mark. You know, you know how it is. These chips though. Oh my gosh. So good. You guys should try them. They're really, why is the plate wet? Okay, I'm done.